Can you believe this girl almost threw these out for no reason? We're going for a walk. I'm wearing my sweater dress and my sparkly tights. And Roman's just wearing a sweater and a light jacket because it's beautiful six degrees out. Feels like two <sighs> summers here at last. Tell me, sir, will there be three more weeks of winter? <laughs> Your professional opinion, sir. Sir, the, please. The crowd wants to know. Tell the people. All right, so I have my tea. Just right over here in my chip mug. And then it's a cute little strawberry steeper. <clears throat> Just letting that steep a little bit. Um, and I'm going to start cleaning out my closet. So, uh, let me just gather everything just a second. Okay, so I have this suitcase that has a few of my summer things in it, like shorts and t-shirts and all that. I have my laundry bin, which I'll probably just put this away because odds are if it was in laundry, I'm using it. I have my three drawers that and then I have my closet so all up in here all up and then all of this and this so pretty much I need to go through it all and figure out what I wear, what I don't. Um, what am I keeping just because I feel bad about throwing out and all of that jazz. So, I don't know, kind of what my closet looks like now. And uh, I'll show you the after. Alright, so we are <laughs> at like the halfway point. Um, I'm doing a brownie break. I'm going to make some brownies. I just did all my dishes. So this is kind of where we are at. Okay, so in the suitcase, I've started to put like winter pajamas, the ones that I'm keeping. Um, on the bed, I have a pile back here of things I'm not keeping. I am keeping all of these. Um, over here is like beach cover-ups. These are maybes that I'm gonna try for some friends or Roman and get some input. Pajamas that I'm keeping. These are all no's. These are what I gotta try on. Um, this is for sure staying. Um, I haven't really even looked up here yet. Um, I'm also going to try and get new hangers. I really like these ones. Um, so I'm going to, once I know, like, how many things I want to hang in things, I'm going to get more hangers. But also, like, I discovered, like, this top that I got in New York that I loved. It said Sassy Since Birth. I completely forgot that I had it because it ended up being at the bottom of the pile of t-shirts. So I want to maybe try and hang some of these. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the mid-update. Um, I will see you once I am done making brownies. Um, yeah. Alright, so I'm pretty much done. I just have this little pile here of things that I want second opinions of, if they think it looks good, if it's worth keeping. Oops. Um, I've kind of started to organize by color. Um, I just think it looks so much neater, um, and hopefully it'll inspire me a bit more to look around, and I can look by color now. Uh, and then this is dress section. Um, the pants, I need to grab a couple other pant hangers and I still have these which I'm going to hang up um, based on what I keep and what I don't. But yeah, I'm just, the next step is to buy, like I said, I think maybe two packs like this um, to then get rid of the plastic hangers and then uh, one more of the long four hanger for the pants. So yeah. 
that's pretty much my closet clean. It feels so good. I feel like I got rid of a lot, actually. Um, which is nice because I am a little bit of a clothing hoarder. Like, I, I feel bad getting rid of stuff um, that were either gifts or given to me. But, like, so much of it was stuff that last time I cleaned up, I was like, uh, no, I'm going to see if I wear it. And then I never ended up wearing it. So, that's how we ended up where we are today. But, yeah. Um, that's it. And I will see you... I'll probably do one last show of you guys once I have all the new hangers and stuff, just so you can see what it looks like completely finished. It'll never be, like, beautiful because, as it is, I need to use um, the bottom of it to store, like, bins and stuff, but it'll at least kind of visually look a little nicer. So, yeah. Thanks for coming along. <laughs> Good morning! So it is a beautiful day. Look, the sun is out. The sky is so clear. Spring is coming. So I'm making Roman go on another walk with me because he's not working and stop. And I was just sitting on the, on the stairs talking to my mom before I was like, hey Roman, let's go for a walk. And I was just sitting and I was like, this is so nice. I feel so rejuvenated. Didn't I seem rejuvenated? So rejuvenated. So we're just going for a walk. Um, I'm wearing my Sherpa sweater, mom jeans, a uh, uh, fanny pack. I'll show you in the full length mirror. But Roman says I'm rocking the soccer mom look, so. She's got the camera, she's got the mom jeans. She's wearing a fanny pack, ladies and gentlemen. I can't, <laughs> what do you want me to say? So this is my vibe for summer 2019, soccer mom. Hey. <laughs> so this is the look I took off my sneakers, but. Alright, so it is a couple of hours later, as you can see, I put my jacket back on. Got a little bit chillier as the day went on. It's now, feels like minus two, so to be honest, I probably don't need the jacket because in the sun it's really nice, but because I'm going to the gym and now I'm going to be coming home a bit later, I just wanted, yeah, I just wanted to be wearing it just in case. Um, I am stopping at Winners before the gym to get some hangers, so I'll bring you along uh, for that. I'm also looking for a um, water pitcher, like for watering plants, watering can, uh, as well as a bin to put um, my hundreds of water bottles just so I can kind of store them and condense them. Uh, and I also wanted a bin for something else. I remember having, having the thought that I need a bin for something, but I can't remember what it's for. So that's a little frustrating. Um, but yeah, I'll take you with me to winners. <laughs> All right, good morning. Um, so it is Wednesday. Uh, I have a brownie that I have heated up and I am eating. Um, it is a sunny day again from what I can see. Yesterday it was really sunny but kind of chilly still. Um, I went to the gym. I got some things for cooking today. It's our final class and we're making crepes. It's going to be like a crepe competition. Um, so I have the batter ready some toppings and it's gonna be so cute I'm so excited um hopefully it goes well it's just me and the idea is that they're supposed to try and make as many crepes by themselves as possible so we'll see um I'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup because I haven't and I just I want to um I'm not going to the gym today it's my day off from the gym um and then um I've just been watching YouTube I'm going to do some dishes, and yeah, um, that's pretty much it. So I will see you once I got the face on. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, I just really kind of 
wanted to do something pink and gold on the eyes. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I am wearing blue mascara. Maybe I'll try when I'm outside with natural lighting to show you. Um, and then, yeah, as usual, just glowy bronzed skin because that's all I live for. Um, I haven't put on lipstick or anything, which I'll do. Something really gross on the wall. Um, later. Uh, but yeah, I'm just about to make my bed. Um, so just a minute. Okay. So, bed is made. Boom. And this is my finished closet. So I've replaced all of the hangers with these velvet. I've stuck with um, black. I have a couple extra, but black, lavender, and mint. And I organized by color. So I have this side, and then I have my dress and pants side as well, which I tried to kind of do a gradient, so I went like dark, and then light, and then back to dark. Just, yeah, so that's kind of what my closet looks like. Um, I had a traumatizing experience yesterday. Um, I'm gonna put this down. Okay, so I had a traumatizing experience yesterday. Yesterday or the day before? But I felt something on wet on my foot and I was like, mm, that's weird, gross. And Roman was over and I looked down and there is a centipede. I have squished a centipede dead with my bare foot. So I call Roman in, I'm like, I need you to get rid of it. Get rid of the corpse. Don't want to see it. Um, and I felt so disgusting. <laughs> like, it was so gross. I was like, I need to take another shower. I need to, like, cleanse my soul. Like, I felt so disgusting. It was nasty. But, yeah, so that's it for this morning. I can't really think of anything else that you guys would want to see or take part of or care about at all. Um, so I'll show you my outfit of the day whenever I'm dressed right now. I'm just wearing like a pajama. Um, you can see like the sunlight hitting. Uh, and then I will show you my crepe setup when I get to the school. So catch up later. So I am on my way to class. Here is the finished Look, I don't know how I can make this better. <laughs> I'm just wearing my Sassy Since Birth t-shirt, um, my Moschino jeans, my Nikes, all for mom look again uh, and then I just have my crepe stuff with me for when I go teach so I will see you soon so I just finished my last cooking class here before the next uh, term starts. It went so well. The kids made the crepes so perfectly. They turned out really good. Um, granted, I made the batter, but they still turned out so good. Um, they also killed it at making whipped cream. I had them whip their own cream and like they did so amazing and I'm so happy. And yeah, so now I am probably just gonna Uber home. Oh, it's lighting. Oh, I'm probably just gonna Uber home. Um, I'm getting kind of tired. Um, and I don't wanna have to carry all my bags. Okay, I'm gonna go because there's people. But it was really good. It is a kind of rainy, gross day. I have like a cut here, which is really sore, which I'm just gonna put on some Vaseline. Um, I have my mini egg snacks 
And I'm so excited because look what came in today. My Fab Fit Fun box. I'm so excited. I've never ordered from Fab Fit Fun before. Um, so this is gonna be like a first impressions of the box, a review, an unboxing, all of that kind of stuff. So we open it up. Ooh. And, okay, so it opens up like this, so this, and then, oh, it's just so cute, like, this packaging, and then, oh, this is the inside of mine. So, right off the bat, there's no swell, which I'm a little disappointed about, but I was kind of starting to expect it, so this month's, or this spring's, was uh, from the promo that I saw had a swell bottle, a sit by swell. Um, but then I realized in one of the promo video, it made a comment about it being like an annual subscribers thing rather than um, just like a month by month, which like is a little bit of a bummer, but you know, what are you gonna do? So there is the Fab Fit Fun magazine. So, I'll open up to the value spot. So, there is a $50 gift card to um, HelloFresh. Um, so, you get $25 off your first two deliveries and free shipping. Um, so, this is the code if you want to use it. Um, cool, I've always wanted to try. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Then, all right, let's see. First thing that I see is this here. So this is by Ciate London, uh, and it's the Extraordinary Translucent Powder. So, packaging's super cute. Like, this box is, is it. Oh, this is so cute. So there's the little bow. Hi. And... See if there's any info. So it's a loose translucent setting powder. Oh, and it comes with like a little top, um, which the sticker you can take off and sift it out. Um, let's see. There is 50, 0.52 ounces of product. Apply generously to areas with concealer to bake and set. Leave on for three to five minutes for the crease-free crease free soft focus finish. Um, use a large fluffy brush for a soft touch matte finish. Um, let's see how it feels. All right, so this is kind of what it is. Um, it feels pretty nice. Um, it does blend away to absolutely nothing. Um, I think the powder I have right now feels a little nicer and the one that I have shuts whereas if you were to travel with this because uh, like already look there's already so much powder and I just put it down on my bed so traveling with this would not be primo but you know just for home this could be really nice. Um, let's see what else I have in here. So this is the champagne charcoal scrub. Uh, relax. So Detoxify, exfoliate, and hydrate your skin with this gentle body scrub. So I've seen this one a few times. Um, oh, so the Ciate powder is a $22 um, value, and it recommends taking a fluffy brush and lightly sweeping the powder all over to set makeup. And this is a value of... $24 and it says apply evenly onto the body while gently massaging onto the skin and then rinse. So I've heard that the smell from the reviews I've seen is amazing. The texture is really interesting. So it's kind of what it looks like. It smells really good. It doesn't smell like charcoal. It definitely smells more like the champagne. And I mean, if you're into like aesthetically nice bathrooms, oh gosh, I'm falling apart, everything's falling. If you're into like aesthetically pleasing things, this would be really cute um, in 
in your bathroom because the packaging is super cute. Okay, then I have in my box the Dr. Brandt No More Baggage ID Puffing Gel, Needles No More. So it says, drop the bags and everything that comes with them, formulated with a biomimetic film tricks technology. Uh, it reduces the look of under eye bags and dark circles. So it says just warm it between your fingers and pat it on the bags and the dark circles that you can use it alone or under makeup. Um, so this is a value of $42 and it says don't be afraid of the salmon shade. It's meant to color correct. So it's, um, it's both a like serum and a color corrector, which is kind of cool. I'm excited to try that. Um, then I got... Oh, these are one of the ones that I chose. So these are the Jadzi measuring spoons. So like I said in this week's vlog, I'm looking to replace everything with like life things rather than just like cheap. So before I just had like these cheap um, plastic measuring spoons. And so when I saw there was the option to get these, um, I thought why not? Because a lot of my um, other utensils have like the copper um, detailing. Oh my god gosh I just almost like stabbed myself okay okay great so this is a value of $15 check out page 12 for Giada's favorite spring recipes that's the tip these are really nice um, so there's, the only thing is there's only four. So there's a tablespoon and then a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon and a quarter of a teaspoon. So they're not like the most full set ever, but they are really gorgeous. They come with a little like hook. Um, they're really beautiful, shiny. I'm not mad. Uh, then I chose these. I'm so excited. This is the next product I chose. I'm so pumped. Like, you don't even know. Um, so these are a pair of Key Australia sunglasses. So it comes with a little pouch, Key Australia at the bottom. These ones that I chose are apparently a $55 value. Um, I'm not sure if that's in US dollars or Canadian dollars, but um, I got the style My Girl in Black Smoke, and this has black hardware, and it says, style these with a high ponytail to emphasize the cat eye shape, and I'm actually traveling um, this summer, so I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, they're so chic. So they look like this. This is what, they, my high ponytail right now is a mess, but... These are so cute. I think I'm like most excited about these. Just like these really oversized, like, oh, please, paparazzi, don't look at me, sunglasses. So they feel really, really nice. Um, yeah, I'm happy with them. These are really cute. Okay. Oh. Then... This is one I did not choose. So this is the Way Hair Care Leave-In Conditioner. So this is valued at $26. It says mist lightly through damp hair prior to brushing. Um, so this is a value of $26. Um, I've heard Way is a really, really great brand. So I'm excited. I'm excited to try it. Um, It smells really good. So I can give a more in-depth opinion on these tonight because I do need to wash my hair and I can exfoliate and do all of that. So I can give a more um, in-depth first impressions um, later. Okay. Then I did not choose this one either. So this is Daily Concepts. Daily Detox Massaging Brush. So this is the vigorous uh, setting. It's good for the body. So 
dry or wet scrub and repeat. Although this one does say it's for dry brushing, so I'm a little confused on that. So this one says your body needs a little TLC too. It's worth $18. Use wet or dry scrub and repeat. You can use the brush with your favorite body washer on its own. So it does come with a little like handle, which is nice. Um, it's like a wood detail. Uh, it has these like plastic bits here as well as the scrub. It does feel really rough, so I'm interested to see like what this does. I don't know how I'd feel about just like rubbing this dry on my skin though so so the last thing I chose I'm super excited about is this um unplug aromatherapy diffuser so I've been wanting a diffuser forever so when I saw that was an option in the box it's the one I chose and um, the other options were a show me your mumu robe um which is valued at 84 and a backpack that's valued at 75 and this is only valued at 55 so obviously I chose like the least valued one. Um, part of me really wanted the Moo, but I don't really need um, like a, another rope. Um, it would have been really nice, but I've been wanting the diffuser and I don't think I ever would have like invested in it. So that's why I chose the diffuser. Um, I am super stoked. So this comes with, well, it looks like this. It's just this cute little like egg. Um, so this is just the on and then this is the light that you hit. Um, so this is a plug-in one. Um, so this one comes with happy. Um, knowing I was getting this I did buy some essential oils uh, from Winners. Um, so it says you can mix happy with other scent oils and check out page 24 for our favorite diffuser blends. So you just plug this baby in, you can charge it USB, and um, then you fill it with water. So you fill it, um, add water without tilting. So I think you literally just pour water here. So there's a minimum and a maximum line so you can fill up as much as you want. Um, and then you pour in the oil. So depending on how much water you put, you can put six to eight drops um, and then you connect it. And yeah, so I'm really excited. Again, I'll let you know um, how everything turns out. Great. So, this one also recommends using the Unplug Guided Meditation app um, with it. So that's all that I got in my box, and I will let you know later tonight my more in-depth thoughts on some of the products. Alright, so the diffuser's on, and it's so nice, the colors. I did Calming Lavender, and it already smells so good. So... Thumbs up for the diffuser. All right, so uh, time for an update on products. So first things first, the sunglasses work really nicely. Um, they're not as black as I would like them, so I feel like on a really bright day, You'll get a little bit of sunlight still, but like I found today, they were super great and it's really sunny out. Like, that's kind of what today's looking like. Um, although, Roman and I just got back from the gym and he is currently in the next room over. Um, we're gonna maybe order pizza tonight, but I had my gold sun, my gold glasses, the one that has the scratch, um, in the case. And I just like had them in my hand while I was walking and I don't know if I left them on the bus or if I just like dropped them as we were walking, but they're gone. I lost them. I had the sunglasses still though, which I'm really relieved about because I was telling Roman, I was like, if I lost my brand new sunglasses, I'd be so mad. Um, so the sunglasses are safe, although my regular glasses have vanished, literally gone. Um, the aromatherapy diffuser is so nice. Um, 
I took a little clip last night, but the colors are so nice. The scent is so nice. I use uh, my own lavender drops that I have. Um, and I really, really loved it. Um, I think I might try the Happy tonight. Maybe mix with like eucalyptus or something for like a relaxing chin. Um, what else did I get? The spoons are pretty self-explanatory. Oh, the powder. The powder I thought was okay. Um, I'm wearing it today, so this is kind of like what my skin looks like with it. Um, I didn't find it had any flashback. A flashback. I tried to take a picture with a flash and I didn't notice any flashback, so that's always a good thing. Um, and it kept my makeup pretty good, so no complaints. Um, the brush was, like, slightly painful. It was really nice on, like, the back and stuff, but, like, on the thighs it really hurt, so I think it might depend on, like, what area of the body you use it dry. I haven't tried it wet yet, though. Um, the leave-in conditioner I really liked. Um, I used it last night, and I did think it made my hair really soft. Um... I have only used it once though, and so there might be a little bit of a learning curve because I find my hair still a little frizzy, but who knows, we'll see. Um, the Needles No More I really liked, it actually really like subtly took away the under eye bags, like I feel like I look a lot less blue than I usually look, so I did really like that. And the Champagne Body Scrub, I loved it, I thought it smelled really good, I thought it made my skin super super soft. Um, and I felt really, really clean after. So, overall, really happy with this box. Um, I think I'm going to keep it for the summer. I want to know when I'm going to get on the summer box. So, I think I'm keeping it. But I'm really happy. So, if I have fit fun, A1.